This is my studio, my semi-studio in Dykesville. I converted the front part of my living room into an area where I could paint. Um, it's, it's a good area in that it's got a lot of light during the daytime. The nighttime takes a little uh, work, as you can see by the arrangement of lights. At any rate, um, this is where I paint, and I paint here from approximately May until November. Good Packer country picture that I did last December and I did it because I wanted to give my sister um, a, a different kind of Christmas and birthday present. Um, I hadn't painted in 35 years so everyone laughed when I sat down to paint but um, it turned out well enough that I decided that well hey this was fun and I think I'll do this another. is the second one I did. Okay. I really like the way the snow effect turned out, and I really didn't like it to start with when I just did the snow, but once I got everything else going, I really liked it. When I brought it into Michael's in Daytona to um, frame it, I had a string of men following me in from the parking lot, so I knew I probably had hit on something. But as I said, I hadn't painted in 35 years, so I wasn't sure what I had hit on. Then I started trying to get you know, closer and to get other kinds of features. And this was one that I had taken from a picture. I, I think it was from some football magazine. And I um, tried, it was Brett Favre obviously being being tackled by a, uh, a Tampa Bay guy. I guess, I guess his name is, I can't remember what his name is, but at any rate, he's being tackled by somebody from Tampa Bay. Here's one I did because this was a very characteristic pose with um, Donald uh, Driver helping Brett Favre up. That's something that we always saw at games, and so it was something that, that I wanted to do. I started having fun with cleats on this one, and I, I sort of shoes and cleats sort of became um, of great, and, and gloves became of great interest. This is one um, I did with uh, with a, a giant with the Packer Giant game. And um, the guy who's coming up to tackle uh, Brett Favre is UC something or other. But at any rate, um, I wanted to work on shadows. So I was working on the shadows of the uniform and that sort of thing. So I thought that I had made some progress. I really liked the previous picture with the, the Giants and the Red Sox and that sort of thing. So I found this picture of a college game and I put a Packer in it, and uh, and I decided to play the Kansas City Chiefs because I like the red of the uniform. I'm not quite sure that that's exactly the color of the Kansas City Chiefs, but I really liked the uniform, and I liked the, the, the way the, 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 the receiver is sort of feels like he's falling out of the picture. I kind of like that. So I was, I was pleased with this one after I did that one. But I decided that I really like big figures, so I went on and decided that I wanted to do another big figure one, and I did one of the, the Ravens. And that's over here. This is the Packers and the Ravens. I did the Ravens primarily because I wanted to do the uniform and the helmet and all that sort of stuff. And then I had, uh, I found a picture of Nick Barnett and I uh, decided to put him in it and um, and had a good time doing it. I painted the background about four times because I just didn't have it the way and I wanted it. And this is one of the Packers and the Chargers. As I said, these aren't real games, they're just they're sort of made up games. But I wanted to do the blue uniforms, I did the Chargers and, um, and the Packers here. And I liked the... Um, the, 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 the big, massive kinds of play of the bodies. I really think that this is a very graceful game when it comes right down to it, and some of these pictures try to show that. So this is uh, Chargers. I decided that I wanted to do something um, an old picture, so I found this picture in, the, in a book with Power Sweep, the old Power Sweep, obviously with Bart Starr and Jimmy Taylor and Kramer and and, I, and, and it, this, these were the days before spandex, so I had a really hard time doing the uniforms because right? they were bulgy and baggy. But then I had fun in the audience, too, because I've put um, Elvis Presley and Eva Perone and all kinds of different people. By the way, I started putting my sister and I in these, 
And uh, we've always, we're sitting in the audience, usually with the number four on our shirts. So there we are. There are a couple of nuns. The offensive huddle. Farb is down on a knee talking to the offensive players. Um, I tried to get stances looking like tired players, players coming in back to the huddle, this sort of thing. So it was, for me, an exercise of trying to get all 11 players doing something that would be appropriate to how they'd be feeling at the moment. And um, I kind of liked the way it turned out, and so did, uh, so did a number of other people. It was really a tough time counting all the legs, though, making sure everybody was accounted for. But they are, they are, they're all there. Um, this is a, the University of Florida team, the Gators, and I found a picture in a book that I really liked, and I just, I love the way, like, the guard is on his toes, just ready to meet the defense, and I, I loved all the different stances that these guys were in. So I decided to try it. Um, I have them playing Michigan State, just because I wanted to do the green uniforms, and uh, uh, they have played Michigan State, but this isn't, again, this isn't a real game. But at any rate, I had great trouble with 55 and 56 because the pictures I was looking at, I didn't realize that they were the Pouncey brothers. And then when I did, then I was This is a picture that I did um, by a special up. request. There's a picture that goes back a while also. It's um, it land, the last game in Milwaukee when um, the Falcons were playing the Packers. And uh, 15 seconds to go, and uh, Packers were down by three points, and Brett Favre leaps into the end zone for the winning score. So this picture was kind of ingenious because it was from a very small snap snapshot that wasn't very good, and the figures were, were not at all athletic looking and whatever, so I had to find figures from different uh, pictures in different uh, magazines and different newspapers and fit them in. But you can get the whole score, or the whole story from the scoreboard because it says the quarters, you know, that, that, that it's down to the fourth quarter, 15 seconds to go. Atlanta's ahead 17 to 14 and uh, it's third down and uh, one on the nine. And so the whole story is just there. And the Packers, when they won this, got a playoff berth for the first time in years and years and years. So this was kind of um, this is the most recent one I've painted. It was a, from a picture that I really liked um, of uh, Martin uh, Harrison, Marvin Harrison, who is really a really great receiver. And he and Al Harris have gone at it a number of times. And this was a picture I really liked of Harris tackling Harrison. Um, the background has been rearranged in one thing and another, but um, the two characters are, are, are pretty, pretty close to life.